muted. All right, well, there goes that beautiful introduction where I am muted. And that's one of the reasons why, well, I actually have Twitch chat. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be a yellow versus gray, human versus, uh, uh, or alliance versus horde, so to speak, in War, uh, Warcraft 3, human and night elf going up against, um, well, orc and undead. Two players going up against each other here. We are going into a Death Knight and a Farseer. Their opponent, opposing heroes, will be a Keeper of the Grove and an Archmage. No big surprises here as things are already getting underway. Some towers may be placed down as well as you do want some home field advantage if an attack is getting underway here. Keeper of the Grove is going to be creeping alongside an archer, but trying to do the typical strategies in a 2v2 matchup generally doesn't work. You end up, well, taking a lot more pressure or your opponent shows up alongside his partner in a 2v1 push. That is, well, rather devastating. Um, it almost seems like you need to go into a no rush scenario for both sides to agree on what type of strategy or what type of game you guys will be playing. Coming back around here, Farsi are already summoning up some spirit wolves now making their way off to the north as the spirit wolves are going to well, go ahead and put in a bit of pressure. Back on the other side here, Archmage going to go after the Null Overseer as well. You, There we go. We're going to see some engagement. There's a couple of purges as the Water Elemental finally goes down. Death Knight. Oh, where is that Death Knight? I don't see the Death Knight yet. Death Knight now out and across the field, already running with those ghouls. There's an Entangle onto a Grunt, and well, that is some bad news for that Grunt right there. A lot of damage adds up very quickly when you can't go anywhere. That very long route ends up, well, dealing a, a large amount of damage as we're looking at this Grunt down to 64 hit points. There's one more shot going to finish it off. There it goes, getting taken down by that Keeper of the Grove. Archer is now going to be trying to retreat back here, and during this time, well, the human player is able to get to level 2, which is going to be very key. He's going to try and make its way back over, perhaps give some mana to this one Keeper of the Grove as well, as the Farseer is still trying to do a little bit of retreating again. All right, Archmage should be joining in on the fight, is at level 2. Some Water Elementals low on hit points, also making its way over as we're seeing a Death Coil finishing off an Archer there. All right, archers and footmen going to be going up against ghouls and, well, grunts, but a lot of grunts. And where are all of the wisps going? Wisps getting them to the detonation. There's another detonation as well, as we should be training up more wisps too. All right, more damage coming back across. Are we going to get an entangle onto a ghoul? No, entangle onto the death knight. Entangle onto the death knight. There's a detonation. Once more archers trying to retreat back here. Archmage and Keeper of the Grove should be able to put in a lot more pressure than we're looking at here. One or two more shots should finish it off. And one more shot is needed, but it finally gets taken down. All right, ghouls are going to try and fight again. And where are they going? Fighting away from all that death knight. A lot of damage being added up here as the Archmage is still providing plenty of mana. We should be looking at more entangles again and again. Again, low hit point ghoul. One more shot. The Death Knight going to be absorbing damage. Archmage, just finish it off right there. There it goes. Going to try and finish off unmuted. There goes the Death Knight. Level 2 up onto the Keeper of the Grove, as we should be perhaps looking at more entangles as well. All right, Keeper of the Grove now going after the Farseer. Farseer has a Scroll of Town Portal, and the Archmage, well, now needs to try and break his friend out of this box here as a lot of damage is adding up. All right, or did he get an entangle off first? Yes, he did get an entangle off onto one of those ghouls first, trading that off right there as the Keeper of the Grove should be perhaps rejoining in on this battle too. Archmage now making its way down. Keeper of the Grove coming in from the other side as, um, well, the ghouls have nowhere really to run. Keeper of the Grove moving significantly faster as we are looking at a, another potential, well, entangle onto a grunt here. Farseer being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal as well as that Scroll of Town Portal saves that grunt. Early two on 2v2 action. And, well, not a good opening for the Orc or the Undead. They're losing the Death Knight and also burning through a Scroll of Town portal. Um, off on the other side here, we're looking at nearly a level 3 Archmage and a, well, a level 2 Keeper of the Grove who was forced to use a Scroll of Town portal. But overall, in that trade, better execution from the, well, what I'll call the Alliance. Archmage is now at level 3, picks up a scroll of the beast. The remaining four scrolls will get taken out here as both sides going back to their respective corners to do a bit of creeping. Archmage 
where it's going to try and travel off to next. It could go after this Goblin Merchant Shop um, pretty easily. There are Wisp out across the field as well. And getting, well, dropping some of, or getting some of these kills here would be where, very helpful as we're getting into a Water Elemental already. All right, Ensnared joining in. Well, an Ensnared Water Elemental, meaning that it's not really going to be taking that much damage. Uh, as we are looking at the forces of nature getting well, well entangled or not entangled, picked off as well. Archmage tries to back away. Keeper of the Grove should be able to get to level 3 with no real problem here. What items will be picked up? There's level 3. Don't know what the level, um, what the item is or or the ability is as the units are now making their way down. Back at home, we should be trying to go into Arcane Sanctums, get in a little bit of healing. Death Knight coming in from the back right there. That is a lot of damage onto that Grunt. Grunt going to get taken out as the Keeper of the Grove well is out in midfield. There's a Dust of Appearance revealing the Archers. Double Water Elementals getting in some damage as well. Torrent Chieftain is already out onto the field. There is an Tangle onto a grunt as that grunt is going to be taking some damage as well. But there's just so many ghouls here, even with an archmage and two water elementals. This fight is probably not going to go well as we are looking at the footman trying to retreat back. That entangle on that grunt down to 165 hit points. It should be coming to an end as that archmage is now trying to flee away as well. All right, a little bit of divide and conquer separation coming back and forth again as the archers are all taken out. And this does not go uh, bode well. Oh, wait, no, breath of fire coming back across as the panda well is going to easily get surrounded here. This could go very poorly. There's a roar trying to maximize all of that damage. Are we going to see another Breath of Fire trying to push its way back free? It has the Breath of Fire. There it goes. Is it going to get taken out though? Yes, it will, as there is just too much damage adding up there. All right, I don't know if we needed to use that roar, but perhaps transferring the Belt of Giant Strength plus three would have been enough as the Archmage gets up to level four for level two Brilliant Aura. Keeper of the Grove at level three here. Are we getting up a second hero? No, we are not. Not for the not for the Night Elf as still damage is adding in. A, well, a level two Death Knight trying to go after these units here. A lot of skeletal minions. Are we going to see some, another skeletal minion get taken down? Yes, we are. As there's just battling all across the map. Torrin Chieftain sitting at level one. Panda should be back out onto the battlefield. No, a delayed resurrection for some strange reason. As the Archmage is going to try and creep out an Ogre Warrior creep camp, most likely just for the items and the gold, as the experience not going to really tip anything in favor for this Archmage. Perhaps should have waited for the Panda to be out here on the battlefield as well, as trying to get experience on your, um, well, on your lower level heroes from creeps is always incredibly important. All right, Archmage does pick up that belt of, or excuse me, that home of strength. Belt of Giant Strength still may be transferred to that panda a little bit later, but that panda could have been higher up on experience if it had, well, started resurrecting just a little bit earlier. Coming back to the south side, Death Knight looking to, well, just go for this massive ghoul strategy, but that massive ghoul strategy is going to start falling up a bit short, especially with a level, with, with that panda already out on the battlefield. As that panda levels up, that AOE damage from that Breath of Fire just gets, um, well, more and more impactful as, well, uh, you have a bunch of low hit point units that spread out on the field. That's exactly what you want Breath of Fire for. Fly Machine also already up in the air to keep track of and keep those destroyers in check. But what is this? We don't even have a Slaughterhouse coming in from the undead. We're at Stronghold here and while well, teching to Black Citadel. Meanwhile, we are already at Castle by the human player who is, well, only no, not training up anything and getting Arcane Sanctum, getting that um, level two or Adept training for those priests. Panda and the Demon Hunter working side by side to get that last bit of experience. So important to try and get a large amount of experience on those lower level heroes, getting them to level three. Um, and getting them to level three is a very big deal compared to just trying to get um, your main heroes or primary heroes from four to five. Um, one to three is better. I, I would argue that one to three and a half is better than four to five on your primary heroes most of the time, if, especially if you have a role that you want your secondary heroes to do. We are now going into a paladin as that third hero as well for nice burst heals as that panda 
still just shy of level three. Players' forces are under attack. All right, down to the south here. Death Knight picks up True Shot or a massive Ghoul army. Not really going to be benefiting from there at all. Forty-four supply and forty-six supply going up against, well, forty-five supply and forty-five. No upkeep across both sides here. Panda will get to level three. Paladin's uh, Demon Hunter gets up to level two. As the units are now making their way back, Paladin on the board with some experience. And this is going to start to become key. There is one Staff of Preservation. I don't see a Staff of Sanctuary. As the majority of the creep camps will be done, uh, will be crept out here in just a moment. Only the corner creep camps are really going to be available. Or these east side creep camps as the Archmage is going to get ready to engage here. Paladin creeping alongside some priests around feel like i'm in like the middle <laughs> yeah middle of a sneeze trying to like formulate a thought while in the middle of a sneeze quite difficult as we're looking at shamans with adept training an uh, invisible torin chieftain has a pendant of energy and also a potion of mana torin chieftain could really come out and surprise you especially with that potion of mana being dropped um, used as the pendant of mana is dropped and picked back up that could translate to even four or five uh, stomps here. And we all know how game changing level two and level three stomp can possibly be. Are we at Fortress? No, we are not. We are only going to be using Lightning Shield. And that Lightning Shield may be a double edged sword, especially against a lot of with your with your partner having so many ghouls. Torin Chieftain will have to be very extremely careful and flying machines are also spotting that Torin Chieftain so um, well how much of a surprise can you really have with an invisible revealed Torin Chieftain Torin Chieftain is already coming along the backside here there's a couple of purges there's the stomp and that wow three ghoul or three priests getting trapped in the back there's a lightning shield now as we are looking at some disenchants there's a breath of fire panda gonna try and continue to engage he is not in that front line able to get in a little bit of damage breath of fire uh, while well, still on cooldown needing a couple of seconds once more as that chain lightning followed by a stomp followed by a bounce right there more chain lightning being used staff of teleportation demon hunter coming back in foreign chieftain still has plenty of mana oh has a mana pot right there there's a mana a mana burn and then followed by a stomp right there are we gonna see another chain lightning bounce around as a potion of lesser invulnerability has been used all right fighting right here panda getting trapped right there as panda at level three falls torrent chief now being forced to back up here as the farseer well doesn't have any real easy targets to try and chain lightning any longer level two endurance aura there's chain lightning on some larger larger target heroes as another school of healing is used once again all right major damage staff of preservation being used once more it does a lot home field advantage the knights and the humans are all trying to back away now leaving behind that back line as so many units are getting taken out one arcane tower causing a little bit of problems everyone has backed up inside the home and well with that backing up inside the home things actually just go uh, very um, generally very poorly if you overcommit to a fight here all right keep for the grow finally going to be forced to retreat back out a couple of ghouls are lost here and what is going on here a, a, a couple of ghouls now getting lost as the demon hunter well he gets caught trying to run back join back in on the battlefield here as the knights are getting purred all right purge from the shamans acting as entangles stopping those knights but however the knights could have been easily fighting back right there they were purged but they were just stuck and not even engaging as the archmage may try and get in a little bit more fights again all right one knight currently getting healed up over here from that staff of sanctuary is it going to end up getting taken down trying to heal or trying to take down a unit that is constantly getting healed is rather difficult but since it can't fight back it's still not much of a commitment all right coming back through we're looking at 37 supply and 46 supply coming in from the human alliance team meanwhile the horde sitting at 60 and 33 still about the same but really the orc carrying this team right here as many ghouls were lost but the well the shaman and the grunts really being able to play their game still 
All right, Knights joining back in as well. Knights do not does not have animal war training either, as we are now looking at a level three lich. This is going to be a crazy strong game as Mountain Giants now starting to irk out onto the battlefield. Grunt's perhaps going to get taken down. There it goes. Death Knight sitting at level five. We could even perhaps be getting resurrection here as we're getting level five onto the Archmage. All right, Paladin trying to retreat back. Scroll of speed. What is going on here? Torrin Chieftain going to try and get in a couple of purges. Archmage being forced to retreat back, and all of the lines are just completely all over the place as we're looking at a couple of Frost Novas go down as well. All right, more purge. Shab or Mountain Giants going up against the Torrin Chieftain and that Farseer. Are we going to see any stuns? No Mountain King for stun at all. Only the Keeper of the Grove, which is easily entangled as we see another Staff of Preservation save that um, that Demon Hunter. Divine Shield still offline. Paladin trying to figure out what, what to do next as the Panda back out onto the battlefield. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze? Breath of Fire has a decent bit of mana. There's a Breath of Fire right there as the, well, the damage could start to add up over time. All right, we're looking at a couple of easy ghouls, a, a couple of easy units trying to get picked off here. P uh, Panda could try to get a Breath of Fire off. Is he going to get a Breath of Fire? There's a Holy Light trying to run away and it gets taken down before a second Breath of Fire could be used. Perhaps could have been used to take down a couple of grunts and then save itself timing is so difficult as that paladin sitting at level three is not getting focused down at all and he, because he has well has a ring of regeneration and that divine shield the battling still working and raging on through here torrent chief and sitting at level four trying to back away archmage continuing in this long drawn out battle both sides well, having a bit of problems as we're looking at some low hit point ghouls trying to run back off to the north there. There goes another water elemental here. All right, low hit point ghoul is going to be able to take down and stop creeping here as the mountain giant is trying to retreat. Knights are out on the battlefield still, but without any crypt beans there, they're really not that great of a unit as they're unable to keep up with the movement speed of the death knight and that torrent chieftain's unholy aura. Knights unable to charge on in. Meanwhile, off to the north, one water elemental finishing off those two ghouls as the Demon Hunter and Paladin will retake the center portion of the map. Overall supply, we're looking at 52 and 59 now, going up against 56 and 35. Undead, um, really, really weak right here as the gold mines of the main bases are about to mine out. All right, we're going to need to see some expansions here in just a moment. And perhaps we will even need to take some of the corner expansions as well. The, the expansions that are close to your opponent are going to be very difficult to defend easily. And well, we should we should be looking at the wings on this map here to see what will be well, unfolding now. All right, Keeper of the Grove, Demon Hunter is that expansion. Well, this creep camp is still available. Demon Hunter may try and get to level three here. This would be a, a very, very important level three. Demon Hunter wants level three for that level two mana burn. Knights and what like, knights, dryads, mountain giants creeping alongside that Demon Hunter should be a very quick clear. As we're looking also that Demon Hunter picking up a robe of Magi. Well, that should be given either to the Keeper of the Grove or the Archmage for even more mana. And, and auto attack. Back off to the north here. Guard towers are getting added human player trying to well reinforce trying to save this expansion before it gets taken down we're seeing a little bit of damage and what is already coming across here we're getting into an engagement lightning shield grunt now trying to drive dive on in here there's a guard tower here uh, how much damage are we going to get added up here as they're going to be exposed from the back all right torrent chieftain is right there there's some slow already and there's that stomp uh, stunning down that knight breath of fire across multiple units here not really getting that much as the torrent chieftain with well lightning shield actually no longer any lightning shield just potion of less and vulnerability will be trying to get down another stomp again all right archmage in the back here panda not participating in the fight trying to get win this game with a participation award needs to get back into the fight here that breath of fire across all of those units and would at least start draining mana out of the obsidian statues but the panda still in the backfield uh, not doing all that much all right trying to get into an engagement here perhaps an orb of fire is in order to be able to attack some of those air units as well as the panda finally gets into position now all right, Panda just seems like a walking breath of fire machine, not actually using its auto attack and now absorbing a lot more damage. And we can see a Staff of Sanctuary. No, we do not. A sudden, sudden burst of damage onto that Panda takes him down. All right, a Paladin 
Divine Shield now being used. Mountain Giants trying to inch their way forward. Dryads are in a very strong position. There is another Mana Burn as well, as this expansion could get taken out, followed by two scrolls. Or no, we have scrolls of Count Portal. Death Knight, I do not believe, has a scroll of Count Portal. Farseer does. Death Knight, Death Knight also does. And Death Knight gets the level 6 before using that scroll of Town Portal to get away. Are we going to see the Dark Ranger fall? No, we are not. Dark Ranger able to head back as well. Expansions. No one has set up the expansions yet. Tree of Life being built at that 10 o'clock location. A, a very attack. close game so far. It feels like the panda is not really being used as well as it could possibly be. Um, staying around in the backfield. And then finally, when it does try to engage, it just gets taken down so quickly. Um, yeah, and that not having a range attack on your second hero um, well, with no real survivability items, it could potentially be a problem. All right, Arcane Vault off here. We're looking to see what the players can try and do next. Priest only at Adept Training, and we are going to be seeing Knights, well, a getting resurrected, or attack. Knights constantly getting staffed back home. All right, Demon Hunter sitting at level 3, Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. It looks like it's though that dr those Dryads are going to be able to finish off that ghoul very easily. Staff of Preservation was it uh, well saving another Mountain now Giant as the Archmage has a Vampiric Aura. Um, maybe should be given alongside the, the Paladin since the Paladin may be more in that frontline spot. Also helping those, um, well, helping out those Mountain Giants as well. So far, though, we are seeing really no mining happening anywhere on the map whatsoever. Um, what you see is what you get. Undead may be able to establish up this expansion here. Are we going to get some long distance mining? That is the question as the Tree of Eternity is already walking its way over here to what I will call the one o'clock position. A couple of ivory towers is going to be placed down as well for additional, well, additional protection as some spirit wolves will easily getting cleaned up in the middle of the battlefield. Peons walking back and forth here. Easy experience. Demon Hunter going to get to level 4. Level um, 2 evasion are now on the board as well as that Demon Hunter will tend to absorb a lot of damage pretty quickly. Demon Hunter ab ignoring the Tome of Intelligence as so many players do. Now, in a 2v2 matchup, um, right now, the Death Knight probably has Unholy Aura level 3. Uh, Animate Dead does not... Um, would actually... Actually, Animate Dead may actually be a, a game changer in a 2v2 matchup. Uh, normally, when the... After so many units are lost in a fight, um, Animate Dead only helps you win more or it helps you try and recover from losing. It doesn't help you in a neutral battlefield. But with that said, with larger armies like this, where um, you and your opponents have so many heroes, there seems to be so much concentration on heroes that units could actually fall. Mountain giants could get animated, knights could get animated, animated, and with that, with those animations, all of a sudden the game does change pretty dramatically. Demon Hunter coming back across here. There is no Necropolis, no chance for a scroll of Town Portal, and this is going to be key here. Knight staying, um, well, the Archmage and the Panda and Paladin all staying back a little bit. That is a lot of cast. And here we are. There's going to be an engagement. Archmage going to drop some water elementals. And here is a fight. Panda, are we going to get a drunken haze? Are we going to breath of fire? Yeah, across multiple units. A lot of purge going down onto those uh, shaman as the shaman's getting well caught pretty much in open field. Torrent Chieftain being forced to use a stomp. There's that giant stomp right there. As we're looking at, well, how did the undead get there? That is my question. How did the undead get there so easily as the ghouls? Well, perhaps they just ran in from, well, their base. All right, thank you for the follow as we're looking at uh, two 1v1 battles happening at the same time. Kodo Beast eating up a knife. That is a major, major loss right there as another stomp gets or it goes, goes thrown down. All right, 2v1 battle once more, but the Mountain Giants and the Dryads are there to try and reinforce. However, it looks as though the human player quickly pulled the trigger on that scroll of Town Portal to try and get away, unaware that his partner Players is right there. Back off to the north. Gold mine is completed. Well, scroll of Town Portal no longer takes you to the moon wells either, as the Demon Hunter is going to get healed back up. Mountain Giants don't seem to be that low either. Where is the Archmage? 
and well archmage paladin mountain king or no archmage paladin um panda not mountain king been wanting a mountain king in this battle so much it doesn't it feels like the panda is doing something but just not quite enough to overcome all of the damage um and 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 being able to pick off units breath of fire should be key as especially with undead going for this many ghouls and still going ghouls this late in the game but the panda just doesn't seem to be able to get into position also the panda has a giant target on its back because of of that aoe breath of fire as another death coil finishes off any of those trailing units again I am surprised we don't see riflemen. Um, normally in 2v2 games, you also want to see more range units as more of your range units can engage at the same time compared to a bunch of melee units. Units are, well, trying to get into a proper position. Now destroyers are off to the side. Archmage feeling trapped inside his own home as we should be looking at a stomp. There it is. Lightning shield right there. So much damage. There's a quick dis uh, dispel magic as a silence comes across as well. All right, Archmage quickly gets taken down, bursted down, undead, able to show up to the party, completely shut down right there. And that was game changing indeed. All right, Lich um, sitting at level four. Lich sitting at level four. Dark Ranger with that silence, absolutely key. Death Knight sitting at level six, still six, still wandering around as a lone knight is down off over here, going after um, acolytes, perhaps to try to get some easy kills. All right, no bonus damage here. Meanwhile, back down to the south here, Keeper of the Grove, Mountain Giants, and Dryads are retreating back. The movement speed is it going to be enough? As the Lich is going to turn, well, try and fight here. There's a mana burn onto that Torrent Chief and Death Knight with level three unholy or a level three. A level two endurance or the movement speed is just so fast for this entire army you don't even need bloodlust and you just seem to be able to walk around that quickly kodo b still being digested here destroyer with that faster movement speed and this game is really just taking a turn for the worst for the human alliance night elf now being forced to use this roll of town portal to head back all right, even go a Goblin Shredder joining in on the fight here as it looks as though this well, this expansion could easily get taken out. All right, Knights, Ghouls, all of these units are going to try and engage here. Meanwhile, the main army now making its way down. Knights wondering, should I try and get away? But the Farseer with Bloodlust, very fast movement speed, going to well, pretty much corral these Knights into that bottom left-hand corner. All right. Not looking good right there. Knight trying to break free. Is the Kodo Beast going to be able to eat it? No. Knight is able to run by. There's a quick purge. And that is going to be the death of a Knight right there. Knight gets taken out. As we're looking at one expansion for both players. No one trying to take these quote-unquote wing expansions. Knowing that they are very difficult to defend. And you don't have any sort of home field advantage. Archmage getting resurrected still. Panda at level 3. Broom uh, Paladin is at level 3. Keeper of the Grove is at 5. Demon Hunter is at 4. And I think it's just going to be a matter of time before Orc and Undead are going to be taking this game. All right, Trent's trying to walk on here. This is going to be this is a slow death. Momentum is in the favor of for the horde. Where are they perhaps going to try and go to next Death Knight? Death Knight and, well, Torrent Chieftain about to, uh, well, engage and perhaps finish off the human base. A couple of trends making their way down, perhaps trying to finish off this creep, or finish off some of these acolytes. Doesn't look like it's going to work out well, though. Uh, also, Altar of Kings, Archmage, didn't make its way back out in time. I think it was a delayed resurrection. And because of that delayed resurrection, the Archmage is not out onto the battlefield, meaning no level 2 Brilliance Aura for that entire for the entire human alliance. Torrent Chief can purposely holding back off on the side here. And there are a couple of destroyers and no real flying machines to stop them any longer. All right, Archmage going to try and get resurrected at the tavern for one last ditch effort. And that will pretty much be the end right there. Come on, getting a little bit of gold perhaps from your partner. Archmage is resurrected. How much gold is left? 19 gold, plenty of lumber. But well, such, such problems. Archmage is healed back up. 
We're going to be going into an engagement here. Sorceress, Priest, plenty of healing. Demon Hunter seeing that level 4, trying to buy perhaps some more scrolls of healing. Staff of Sanctuary, not going to be really working out all that well as the two armies are going to try and engage here in just a moment. However, how come the human army is in that backside constantly getting exposed there's a torrent chieftain forcing an engagement stunning down most of those units followed by a silence beautifully done right there not allowing as the panda gonna fall for like the fourth time in this game panda falls at level three breath of fire really not making that big of a difference as the shamans are just able to continue to fight and uh, well engage there i believe that the demon hunter fall yeah demon hunter falls at level four heard the death animation lich however falls at level four as well as the keeper of the grove now going back after the farseer and other units all right torrent chieftain there goes a stomp right there dryads perhaps going to go down towards some other units keeper of the grove is taken down as well archmage unable to really save any of those other units as the death knight gets a surround onto the archmage that is going to be the death of an archmage right there and down it goes giving level six to the torrent chieftain level six torrent chieftain um level six death knight dead archmage at level five dead keeper of the grove at level five and this army should just end up getting shut down here torrent chieftain still low on mana but with the faster movement speed from that unholy aura and that endurance aura should be able to easily take down all of these um all of these um, units off to the side here we are looking at one no no obsidian statues so the dryads do have a little bit of an advantage here as that one mountain giant is going to get taken down there it goes giving level three now to that or morning 2v2 yep another 2v2 today mountain giants dryads trying to hang back here more gold getting mined out are we getting resurrection yes one priest hanging off to the side here demon hunter going to get resurrected i believe all of the heroes are pretty much gone for that yellow army and we are doing some long distance mining with peons over here to the top left night elf still has a has a decent sized army here with dryads and mountain giants but with no leaders to lead them um and well and and how pivotal and powerful those leaders are the chances of the human alliance night elf and human being able to beat a, uh, to finish off the orc and the undead are now pretty much slim to none all right no mining over here on the bottom left though so for a while night elf was the only one getting any sort of gold as the keeper of the grove gonna quickly heal back up here all right demon hunter gonna pop on out this may be the last stand here dryads well perhaps trying to pick off some units trent's gonna be joining in demon hunter sitting at level four keeper of the grove sitting at level five orb of venom and robe of magi adding in some bonus damage but that sh that may not be enough or definitely not gonna be enough at all peons with more long distance mining here is the keeper of the grove are we gonna have an amazing comeback by jen's being able to carry his well pretty much wounded partner across the finish line or will the orc and undead army be able to close and seal the deal here demon hunter picking up perhaps scroll of healing and getting potion of lesser invulnerability gonna try to go for an engagement sold the robe of magi and we are going to be going into a fight here in just a second triple destroyers in the air the trents um the treants should end up getting eaten pretty quickly as well the ancients of lore are also engaging as well all right never forget that night elf you can just build an army of trees to try and attack and engage and if you're worried about hit points well they naturally regenerate and can also eat trees on the map as well this twisted meadows has plenty of fuel for that fire and, and that particular strategy but this is more of a desperation move than anything else here demon hunter gonna find a couple of peons while well, during doing that long distance mining game there goes one peon there goes another and one priest is this all the Please human army has under. human army has 11 supply yeah so uh, nine workers and a, and one priest that priest should really just be following that keeper of the grove perhaps trying to give inner fire to the demon hunter as well making sure that it stays strong and well topped off militia now trying to well, run all the way back shadow wolves where are they going to be going next they're going to be able to finish off any of those units not quite sure and i don't know it, it seems like both players just don't want to make or all four players just don't want to make the mistake if you make the mistake it is going to be the death of you dryads demon hunters now are they going to be elevated over 
that well if they are elevated over we could see a, a slow comeback if the night elf is able to rebuild um rebuild up a base Th that's the question now more uh, more units going to get picked up and dropped back off here demon hunter should probably have the orb of venom nope a granite golem and well there we are dealing large amounts of damage orb of venom getting in some damage right there damage over time as the dryads need to be healed are they going to go ahead but we should really have that priest join in on that battle tome of intelligence spike collar now getting picked up as the destroyers are in the corner of the map trying to get some easy kills again all right tree of eternity is lost no mining there at all we could try and rebuild this army completely demon hunter really should have had the orb of venom here a little bit of a misstep but the demon hunter is it going to get to level five or is it going to just be just shy one more shot there it goes keeper of the grove is he going to try and build an expansion over here in the top left perhaps sell that spiked collar since you already have a demon hunter um yeah since you already have a demon hunter you don't really need the mana burn at all and selling that to be able to set up an expansion is perhaps the better call right now how much gold do you have in the bank 335 enough torrin chieftain is right there though are we going to get a stomp on both heroes no all right what's going on ghoul is trying to run around demon hunter right here torrin chieftain may throw down a stomp demon hunter there goes a couple of trends there's a stomp and a silence onto the keeper of the growth quickly gets melted and this game is now over level five keeper of the grove now down silence a stomp level five onto the lich all the remaining units they're not going to be able to engage and there is the gg thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed this 2v2 battle here on twisted meadows